typical day of a clerk student. Currently for the six weeks, I'm doing my internal medicine rotation and I'm halfway through. Today is the first day of the fourth week. I'm gonna be taking in my camera today and film a little bit wherever possible. I drive to the hospital every morning, which can be convenient, especially in the winter, but sometimes you hit some traffic. You also get to see how bumpy the roads are here in Montreal. Today is Monday as I have a midterm evaluation to do with the attending from last week and the attending changes every week so I'm gonna meet the new attending this week I have uh, I think only three patients a little room that we have for the medical student. We have one computer, two, and one TV that connects to that computer. And a little whiteboard. And another whiteboard. And a sink. I arrived before the attending got here, so I didn't get to meet her right away. Instead, I started by seeing my own patients. This week, I'm working on a small team. We have no residents, just two medical students, me being one of them, and with the attending. And since the other medical student isn't here today, it's just me and her. Because the team changes every week, on Monday, we start by doing a transfer call which means the attending from the previous week will meet up with the attending from this week which can also be done on the phone if meeting up is not possible and it's basically a quick summary for each patient see where we're at for each one of them see who's more critical, who's less critical and who's about to be discharged that are left. I had to get used to and kind of learn to accept is that working at a hospital you have to eat alone more often than not because either not everyone has the same schedule or you just don't have time and everyone kind of does that too so it's a little boring but it's the reality that we have to learn to deal with 
Don't have time to film a lot during the day, so I'm gonna do a recap of what we did. So I arrived at 8.30, which is typical. From 8.30 to about 2 p.m. is to see all of my patients, so do the rounds myself, check their labs, see how they're doing, write my notes, and write any investigation that I like to do, or medication that I like to change, or just different things if they're not doing well. This morning, we revised one case that was a little bit more urgent. Normally, if everything is going well, we do the revision at two, around 2 p.m. But if there are emergency cases that come up or different things that come up, we'll just revise as we go. So with that, but I cannot go home yet because I'm on call tonight. But first, I'm finished a little early, so I'm gonna go have supper, maybe study a bit, and then show up to my call. did a little bit of quick studying. I called the resident who's on call and uh, so now I'm going to intensive care. I'm um, not gonna take my camera there, so I'll see you after my call. We did the uh, coronary unit, so we saw one case of the acute and STEMI. And then later we were caught in the emergency for an um, elevated troponins. And then there was a code blue for ventricular tachycardia. So a lot of things happened during the call as well as during the day. home now uh, it was a very good day it wasn't long at all if you think about it it's 12 hours I was there from 30 to about 8 30 but it wasn't it didn't feel too rushed plus I was on call so so what did I see today to summarize the day so I saw in total three patients one guy had acute kidney failure on top of chronic kidney failure and also a heart failure and the other one was a Wegener also known as granulomatosis with polyangitis last one it's a fever of unknown origin so here you go this is my typical day in internal medicine <laughs> 